Good day everyone. Welcome to another chemistry class. The first part of the kinetic theory of matter by Ibrahim Olaguki. Let's quickly go to the background of the study. As we all know, matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. So it contains tiny particles such as atoms, molecules and ions and they exist in three basic states which are solid, liquid and gases. Now a gas is under normal atmospheric pressure and uh, it has a boiling point below 27 degrees Celsius which is room temperature. Now the kinetic theory has been proposed to account for and explain the general behaviors of solid, liquid and gases. In terms of the forces of attraction between their particles and the energy they possess. So this brought about the postulation of now this basic theory is postulated because gas will have the basic postulate of an ideal gas. One, a gas consists of a large number of tiny molecules moving at random in a straight line without resting. The second one is the molecule of this gas collides with each other with the walls of the container. Three, the actual volume of gas molecule is very negligible, that's is small, compared to the volume of the container. So we assume the volume of the container as the volume of the gas. Then during collusion, there are no forces of attraction between the molecules. The molecules are completely independent. And the next one is collusion between gas molecules are perfectly elastic. This implies that no kinetic energy losses. Now the average kinetic energy of the molecules is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Thus the kinetic energy increases with an increase in temperature. Now let's look at the general properties of gas. One, they have no definite volume. Thus take the volume of the container they are put in. They have a low density because there's a large intermolecular distance, hence they can be compressed. Gen and gas molecules can perform three types of motion, basically because of the space in the molecules. These motions are vibratory motion, rotatory motion, and trans translatory motion. Gases exert pressure, and gases undergo diffusion. As we know, diffusion is the movement of molecules from region of lower concentration to region of higher concentration. Gas is also mixable with any proportion as they are independent. And at high temperature and low temperature, gas is turned into liquid. Now these are some of the terminologies we'll be using in this course. One is the gas volume. I want to talk about gas volume, it is the space it occupies. And the unit is always in dm cube, cm cube, liters, and so on. Secondly, the temperature is the degree of the hotness or coldness, and it's always in the group Celsius or Kelvin. Pressure here means the force per unit area, and this can be in Pascal in meter per meter square. And lastly, we have the standard temperature and pressure. This means standard temperature 273 Kelvin or 0 degrees Celsius and standard pressure is 760 mm mercury or 1.01 .01 exponential 5 newton per meter square. Now let's see the variation of gas volume pressure. The person that posited this theory that the relationship between gas and volume is Robert, Robert Boss. So, this law is named after him, that's the Boyce law, and it states that the volume of a given mass of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure, provided that the temperature is kept constant. Mathematically, our V, which is the volume, is, direct, is inversely proportional. That's why you have the 1 over P there to pressure, and when introducing a constant we have volume equals to k over p, where our k is the constant of proportionality. 
Now when we do this mathematically, we can get for different stages p1 v1 equals to p2 v2 and so on up to p and v n. Then we we'll have the second which is the temperature volume law and this is stated by Jacques Charles. This law states that the volume of a given amount of gas held at constant pressure is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature as V is proportional to T. Introducing a constant to have V equals to KT. Here as the volume increases, the temperature also increases and vice versa. Or can have V1 over T1 equals to V2 over T2 and V3 over T3 up to Vn over Tn. And this will be all for today's class. Then we'll have our assignment for today. We want to measure three postulates of an ideal gas. And secondly, we have to state the boys' law. Thanks for viewing.